Is it fun when she does? I couldn't walk the next day. <laughs> now, you might think, what else could a hamster do to you? There is a finale, but I think it'll be better than the one to the Matrix movies. See, my granddad decided for some reason that he loved these things, and he wanted to kind of breed them. So he bought another one, and next thing you know, we've got 20 of these things. Now, besides the fact that it's kind of weird to have a granddad that's a rodent pimp, <laughs> other thing, well, a couple of quick facts. Number one, like I said, my granddad was a bit of an alcoholic. He would drink a case of Old Milwaukee. If he wasn't working the next day, then it was only half that. <laughs> Two, Hamster is one of the greatest lockpicks and jailbreakers that have ever existed on this planet. Yep. Uh huh. And number three, apparently to an alcoholic, a herd of hamsters running across a hardwood floor sounds like a herd of buffalo. <laughs> <laughs> now, there's a little fallacy I want to kill about life in the good old days. You always hear people say, well, you know, it's so much better in the good old days because you could sleep in your house and leave your door unlocked. That's a lie. The reason they left their door unlocked is because they needed a target practice. They slept with guns right by the bed. And Grandpa kept a double-barreled shotgun right next to the bed. So I'm awakened by the explosion. <laughs> I run over to the parents' bedroom and gently open the door and reach in and turn on the light. Now, when I do this, I see my grandmother under the covers, nothing bad there, just looking like Kilroy was here. And my granddad standing there in a set of boxers and a white t-shirt, holding the shotgun that's only got one barrel discharge, aiming it at the floor. And now that I've turned the light on, he can see this charred area of floor, and sitting around it is 20 hamsters. Oh <laughs> he doesn't even win one. They're sitting there like they're visiting the Grand Canyon. <laughs> oh, now, this is bad enough. But oh. he's seeing it, and Granddad's got this look of, oh my God, I have completely screwed up. And he says, Mother, he knew I would be telling this story at Anthrocon, so I'm not breaking the rating. He didn't finish that. Oh. But what also happened is my grandmother looked at what happened and said, You dumb son of a bitch. Because she didn't care about the rating. Plus, she hated him. So she took one of those big old Frontiers woman pillows, you know, that had like goose down and... Uh, bricks and mortar and twigs <laughs> and whacked him in the back of the leg with it. Now, everything else is kind of a blur. It all hits slow motion. But he dropped the gun, and the gun falls slowly and hits the edge of the bed. Oh. And starts to bounce back up, which is when it shot. Uh. And hit the dresser that rocked backwards. <laughs> then hit the wall and rocked forward <laughs> which caused the 400 pound 19 inch rent to own GV that was on top of it to slowly move forwards and tumble right to the middle of that area and crash and splinter all over the place and still not win one damn hamster <laughs> <laughs>